Hey folks, I have a fun stagger challenge for you today. Notice how we have these green and orange bars. When I play the animation, the green and orange bars all start and end at the same time. You'll see both of the groups are staggered, but it's important to note as I scrub back that the first orange and first green start at exactly the same time. Both groups are gonna stagger in, and if we keep an eye on the last items, they're both going to boom finish at the same time. And what's nice about what I have set up here is that I can take a whole bunch of the orange divs or green divs, let me just delete the orange ones now, and you'll see we'll have less orange ones and the animation updates perfectly so that the first green and first orange start at the same time and also the last green and last orange end at the same time. And I hope you noticed that I did not have to change the JavaScript code at all. So if you want a fun challenge, I'm gonna give you a start file where you can try to code it up yourself. If you want the solution, keep watching. So here's the start file I'm gonna give you. Notice that we already have some staggers programmed with GSAP. However, you're going to see that the orange group ends later than the green group because it has more elements, all right? Sort of makes sense. So what I want you to do is modify this code here so that the orange group ends at the exact same time as the green group. Now, you can use CSS if you like or any other tools, but of course, I find GSAP to make this a whole lot easier. And while you're coming up with your solution, make sure that it's flexible enough so that you can take some of these divs here, delete them, and the timing's still gonna work out fine. So jump on into this starter file and see what you can do. All right, folks, now on to the solution. If you don't wanna see it quite yet, just hit pause. So in order to give both of these animations the same overall duration, we're gonna use GSAP's duration getter setter method. Let me show you how. Up here, I'm going to set a duration variable set to three. And then at the end of this tween here, I'm going to call the duration method and pass in my duration variable. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the second tween down here and take a look. Now both of these staggered animations end at the same time. I can go into my HTML, quickly add in a few more orange divs. I don't have to touch the JavaScript and those last ones are gonna end at the exact same time. Isn't that nifty? And of course, if we wanna speed up or slow down the animation, we just have to take this one variable here and change it. Now everything will be much faster, but again, fully synchronized. If you enjoyed this little tip, please share it with your friends. Whether code like this looks completely foreign to you, or if you wanna learn more about mastering all of GSAP's little secrets, check out creativecodingclub.com. I have over 200 lessons that'll take you from beginner to pro. Each week, my students get a new lesson, and I'm gonna give you a sneak peek at this week's new lesson. We're gonna take a look at this Vega Webflow template and explore this orange line indicator that follows me as I scroll, all right? And you'll wanna also notice that when I stop scrolling, that the line sort of keeps moving. So we're gonna dig into this in depth and I'm gonna walk you through building our own fun little version here, okay? I'm gonna keep it stripped down so that we can totally focus on the code and spend time adding cool effects, like maybe, boom, coloring the lines. Now you'll see that each section has its own different line color, okay? So again, if stuff like this would take you hours to build on your own, or you don't even know where to start, check out my courses at creativecodingclub.com. I offer the world's most comprehensive GSAP training around. See you in the club.